Praise God. I just felt led by the Lord to talk about a place no man would ever want to go. Praise God. And Jesus talked about it many times. It's a place of torment and it's called hell. Praise God. And that's the place where the damned go if they don't get their hearts right with God. Why here on earth? Praise God. This gospel is serious, you know, and people are, I can see many people are just kind of laughing at it and don't take it seriously, and you know, God's getting angry, praise God, because He has given man the opportunity to get their hearts right, and He has so many good things in store for mankind, but man rejects Him, basically still spitting in His face, taking His gospel, and throwing it out the window, so to speak. Praise God. But this is very serious business. Praise God. We are here for a reason. We're here for a purpose. Praise God. And the Bible tells us all about it. Hallelujah. And God is real. But many people today are saying, you know, are gone atheists, you know. But the Bible says the fool has said in his heart there is no God. Praise God. And if you're buying into all this garbage that's going on in our communities and our world today, these doctrines of devils on Darwinism and atheism and secularism and all this garbage then you may face hell fire one day praise God and I'm warning you now and I'm telling you turn from your wicked ways take heed to the word of God do not forget the days of Noah praise God when Noah was building the ark and God had called him to, to build an ark because he said there's a flood coming well there's a flood coming praise God and it's the end times right now and we see all the signs are being fulfilled around us for many decades now and the majority of people are still wandering like lost sheep without a shepherd praise God because they're following the other false doctrines and false gods praise God and with that said I want to read from Luke chapter 16 verse 19 to 31 an insight by Jesus who is God who shared and gave us an insight into the life after this present life praise God and I'm just feel a very strong stirring in my soul today. Hallelujah. I just stepped into prayer today and I just felt something come over me. Praise God. I just felt a drawing spirit by the Lord to say, warn them. Praise God. People aren't taking heed to the love of God. They're, they're spinning in the Lord's face all the day long and they're walking down that road that leads to destruction. Praise God. As it is written in 7 uh, verses 13, 14 of Matthew. Praise God. Broad is the way that leads to destruction and many are going therein thereat. Praise God. And you know, and the opposite happens for the Christians is it's a narrow path that leads to life. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I will read from Luke chapter 16, verses 19 to 31. I know we don't hear much about this, that much anymore about hellfire. Praise God. And our churches are dwindling and people are going after other gods and other things today. Praise God. But the Lord is saying, turn, take heed, tell the wicked. Praise God. Warn them. Give them warning for me as Jeremiah did and Ezekiel did and Isaiah did were commended by God to warn wicked people. Praise God. And I was in that boat. Praise God. But God had mercy on me. Praise God. Okay, reading from 16 verses 19 to 31. This is the word of the Lord. Praise God. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores. Praise God. I'm just going to keep putting pictures up here Why I'm reading here. Praise God. Just to remind you, praise God, of this place. It's not a fairy tale. Praise God. And desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table, moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. It's more like uh, the dogs had more compassion on this beggar than the rich man who was wealthy. Praise God. And so many people are caught up with their wealth today. And you know, their cars and their homes and their jobs and neglecting what's true and vital in life. And that's coming to church and learning about God and hallelujah, following the plan of salvation. Obey Acts 2.38. Praise God. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, which is evidenced by speaking in other tongues. That's how you know you got the Holy Ghost. Praise God. It's real. God's real. Hallelujah. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. 
And in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments. Praise God. In torment. Praise God. That means, praise God. Torment means uh, great suffering, cause of suffering. Make someone suffer greatly. Praise God. It's, it's a place of suffering, torment. Extreme torment, like you would never imagine. Praise God. And we've all been burnt, and we felt burnt before, and we know when we see a hot stove, we stay away from it, because we probably had an experience where we did get burnt. Praise God. We don't go and, you know, put our hands in the fire or whatever. Praise God, because we know. And the, the Bible's warning us, stay away from this place, and how you stay away from this place is obeying God and coming to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. The rich man also died and was buried okay. And in hell, and it says here, and in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Praise God. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this place. Do you hear the word of the Lord? Praise God. This is no joke, this is no picnic. I know many people in our day make fun of and make light of uh, hell and hellfire. Praise God. And I have to think about ACDC and Bon Scott and how many songs he wrote about hell. And he wrote a song called Hell Ain't a Bad Place to Be. Do you think he's saying that today? I don't think so. I think he's screaming at the top of his lungs and saying, Lord, just have mercy on me. Praise God. The biggest prayer meeting today is going on in hell. Praise God. Unfortunately, not in our churches, but it's going on in hell. Say, Lord, just give me one more chance. Praise God. Amen. He was tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember. Amen. And your, your conscience will torment you in hell if you don't make it to heaven. Praise God. That Remember that ye in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. Praise God. And beside all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot. Neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send me, send him to my father's house. For I, am, I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham saith unto him, They have Moses and the prophets. In other words, they have the word of God, like we have the word of God today. And the word of God is telling us to... You know, many people have heard the gospel and, you know, been invited to church and they do not come. Praise God. But we have the Word of God. The Word of God will save our souls, the Bible says. Praise God. Thank God for the Word of God. Thank God for the church. Thank God for the men of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One day you'll be begging in hell. Praise God. But don't go into this place. Praise God. Hallelujah. Abraham saith unto him, Okay, they, they have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Praise God. If somebody came out of the pit of hell today, everybody would just look at, at him like he's some kook. Praise God. They would think he was—he lost his mind. He's just a madman running around screaming. What's he? Some thrown into a insane asylum or somewhere? Praise God! They wouldn't believe. People won't believe. Amen. That's what the Bible's saying. Praise God. I'm gonna go to one more passage of scripture here. Hallelujah! It's found in Luke chapter. Uh, Luke chapter twelve verses. Uh, Go to 13 and to 21. Praise God. And one of the company said unto him, Master, speak to my brother that he divide the inheritance with me. And he said unto him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. Praise God. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up 
for many years. How many people say that? Hey, they invest in, try to get rich and lay up money, up oodles of money, praise God, and they put their faith and trust in that, and they don't put in the, their faith or trust in the Word of God, praise God. Take thy ease, eat, drink, and be merry. And that's just what the world's doing today. Hallelujah. Multitudes and multitudes. Praise God. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall these things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. Hallelujah. That's what this is all about. Praise God. This is a warning from God. Praise God. Amen. Don't trust in your riches. Don't trust in false cults and religions. Turn to the truth because God is real. And it is written in Hebrews 10.31, It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. And with that, I will stop for now. But there will be more on hell. Praise God. I just felt led by the Lord to warn people. It's real, people. Get your heart right with God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Don't end up in that place that burns with fire and brimstone. A place that was reserved for Satan and his angels and the false prophet and the Antichrist. Praise God, as found in Revelations 19 and chapter 20. Praise God. Get your heart right with God. This is real. Hallelujah. This is no joke. Praise God. God is real. God loves you. God wants to save you. And God's willing to warn you too. Praise God. In Jesus' name. God bless.